Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I have to say it has been one of those. You think that you have control over what you're doing. You think you know what you're doing and sometimes you just don't. And that is what happened to me. This is Thursday. You're not going to be seeing this until tomorrow, Friday, because this is Index Card Friday. But I had a great video for you yesterday, and this was it. Yes, you did. There's two of these. You know why? Because I did this and you did this with me. At least I thought you were doing it with me. Oh, you were with me for about 10 minutes, and then we went into slow-mo. I don't know why. It's just electronics and weird stuff. So I we're going to do this again. This is going to be Monday's video, so you might want to stay tuned. But this led to this, and that's why I'm talking about it. This is going to be a giveaway, but it's not going to be a giveaway now. It was going to be a giveaway today, but now it's going to be a giveaway next week. So... What happened is when I put together that bag journal, the five bags that I went ahead and sewed in the center, and then it gave us all those pockets, well, I, it was just way more popular than I ever could have imagined it would be. And I want to thank you. It sold right away, and, I, and I've got orders now to create some more. So... I am very, very happy with that, but I got to thinking, these bags, why couldn't I do stacked pockets? I've never seen stacked pockets before. If somebody out there has made stacked pockets, I apologize. I have never seen it. This is something that I am doing for the very first time ever. So I got to thinking about it, and I was thinking, how can we do this? Because if I do it like the bags, then you're going to have all this bulk because you've got the pockets in the front and you've got the pockets in the back. I only want the pockets in the front. So I came up with a way to do it. I did it, which that's where you came in because I thought you were with me. And so that's why we're going I'm going to repeat it Monday and show you how to, how to create this. But I thought, okay, this pocket here will be glued to the page of your journal. And then you've got this pocket here and then you've got however many other pockets you want that will flip open. So here is the second pocket, and as you can see, it flips open, and then you've got a third pocket. Here's your tag. It flips open, and then I was thinking, okay, that's great. We can leave it like this, or we can close it. So the one that I made with you, I glued ribbon here, so this will be glued on a page, and then... Um, it's got the uh, ribbon closure. You don't have to have a closure at all. You could use a um, you could use a um, paper clip and and paper clip this to the page. But you can see it's not going anywhere. What you need to watch out for though is bulk, because if you bulk this up and you have this on your page, you're going to end up you know with some issues. So then I thought, well, why not a belly band? Now, obviously, you can't put a belly band over the whole thing because you've got this glued down. So what, what I did is I put the belly band on these two pockets to keep these closed. Okay, so when this is glued down, when this is glued down, you're going to open it up. You're going to have this belly band. All right, then I got to thinking... Um, if you didn't want to do, and I just lost my train of thought, and it had to do with the belly band. Oh, if you didn't want to glue this down, you could put the belly band over all of this, 
just like this. And like I mentioned, you, you don't need a belly band, but I wanted a belly band. I wanted to make a belly band, so I made a belly band. So um, this, just by itself, in a pocket would be really cute in a journal. So I am in love with this. We, I am going to show you how to do this. Uh, it won't be much different from what we're going to do um, today with the index cards, but I just wanted, yeah, yeah, so guys, be ready. Um, we're going to do really this, the same thing here. I thought, okay, well, I did three on there. How, how, how far can we go with this? And you can see this is, um, this is scrapbook paper. This is cardstock. This is cardstock. This is cardstock. So you're going to start to bulk up. I don't know if you can see that. Did not have that issue on here. This is um, three. This is scrapbook paper. This is cardstock. This is cardstock. So two pieces of cardstock and one piece of scrapbook paper. This is one piece of scrapbook paper and three pieces of cardstock. So you start to bulk up. I didn't, I don't want to mess with having to have a hinge, I mean a, a spine. I don't, that defeats the purpose. I want this to be able to go into a book where you just have these stacking pockets. I just think this is an incredible idea. You may not like it, I don't know, but I don't know what there is to not like. Each one of these is a an index card see right here index card index card index card so this is what we're gonna make hopefully we won't be here all night do you notice anything different look at my nails I polished them it's probably the first time you've ever seen that because I don't polish we'll see how long this will last probably not long at all but I saw my mom today and I polished her nails and so yeah I polished mine so let's start. We have, we're going to start with this first one here. And I did not go over this before I came in. So, and sat down. So you're going to have to bear with me here. We will get her done. And I promise for Monday's video, I will have it all together. But you'll, I think you'll know what we're doing by then. So if we're on the right path, if this is seven and a half by three and three, or by four and three quarters. So this first one, four and three quarters by seven and a half. Okay, so that is a good start to something beautiful. Which way do we want to go? I think we're going to go this way. So we're going to need a scoreboard. We are going to score at two and three eighths. We don't have to worry about the bottom of this one because the this very first one doesn't tuck into anything because it is the base. So two and three eighths. Two and one, two, three. And then we want to score at five and five eighths. So five Okay, and we will need the scoreboard for each page that we're going to put in here. So then we are going to create our pocket by folding this over and let's see which way we want this. I think we're going to go that way. I'm going to take a divot. You don't have to um, take a divot at all, but I am going to take a divot. Get your head together, Charlotte. I just think this idea is the coolest thing ever. And I'd like to do a, a tall, tall, skinny one, which I think would be really neat. So what we're going to do is, yes, we have to, well, we don't have to, but we're going to do some distressing. 
And while I am thinking about it, don't mind me, but I am going to just stand up and make sure that my iPad did not slip into slow-mo because that is what happened to the last video. I don't know why, but it did. So let me just take a peek. And in order to do that, I've got to see what it's on. Are we still... I think we're okay. Looks like we're still okay. Sorry about that, guys, but I don't want to repeat. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to leave the bottom open. You are not going to glue the bottom of this at all. But we are going to glue this closed. So we're going to put glue on the two ends. Just like that. Get this glued. We've got our first pocket. Okay, we've got this pocket here. Now we're going to be doing these pockets. And I, do you see how they're kind of off to the side? Okay, so the first one will be this one here. And this particular one measures Hopefully this is seven and a half by four and a quarter. So we've got seven and a half by four and a quarter. And seven and a half by four and a quarter. So our score marks are the same. They don't have to be, if you're going to do this, they don't have to be the same. It just depends on how you, um, how large you want your pocket. So we're going to score this at two and three eighths. And five and five eighths, just like we did the last one. And we're gonna do the same thing on this one. So two and three eighths, and five and five eighths. And then we are going to turn it and on the bottom, we are going to score at half an inch. Half an inch. And we're going to do the same thing on this one. Score at half an inch. Okay. I'm going to burnish this. Burnish this. Burnish this one. Burnish this one. And then I'm going to chomp a divot out of the top. And I just eyeball it. I know that might drive some of you absolutely nuts, but it's what I do. And if I'm off a little bit, that doesn't bother me. Okay. All right. So now we're going to have to distress just really quickly. We'll just go around here. We're not distressing this here because I don't want that. It's the back and I don't want it to show up as a separate piece. Do the same thing with this one.
don't like my painted nails. I just don't like the upkeep. Okay, then what we're going to do is we are going to cut just above where we scored and then angle down. And I want to go just above because these are going to get folded in. This is going to get folded up. So just above the score line and at the fold, angle in. Just above the score line and at the fold, angled in. Then we're going to take and we are going to go ahead and fold that up, give it a little bit of a burnish, and then we are going to distress. Now, you'll see on this where this is off to the side we have to create the tab that's going to allow us to do that, okay? But first, we can glue. You're going to pull your tab out. We can glue the bottom closed and the bottom closed. We can, yeah, that's right. Oh, a little bit of glue out here. You're not going to do anything with that tab. We're closing this off and creating our pocket. Just like that. See that? Our bottom is open. So what we need to do is we need to figure out now how far over do we want to come on this. How we're going to do that is you're just going to eyeball what you think looks good just like that and you're going to take a pencil or some kind of a marker. We don't need this tab but we need this tab because this is what is going to fit up inside of this first one. So we're going to make a little mark just like that, wherever it is on yours that you want it to be. And I stick out here. Let's see. That looks like an inch. Let's see if I can see it. Yes, I, I stick out an inch on that side. It really doesn't matter. But for those of you that want to know just exactly how mine is, it's an inch. So then what you're going to do, here's my mark. You are going to cut this off. We don't need it. And you're going to angle in. So what's going to happen now is when you look at this, this is what you're going to have. This is the back side. This is going to fit in here just like that. See? Just like that. That's what we're going to do now. You are going to glue the back, which is, this is the back, to the front. You are not going to glue this because if you do, you'll glue this shut. You won't have no way to put your other pieces in. So the back of the second one to the front of the first one. So that's what we're going to do, and I'll show you. It'll make, it'll make more sense, I think, when you see it. And this was a little bit harder because we've got angles. The uh, other one I showed had no angles. So the one we make Monday, I think, might be a little bit easier. You're going to stick that in there like that. See, you, you need this. See, see what I did? So we're going to make sure that this folds... And I noticed because of the bulk, the more bulk you get, the more gapping you're going to get, gaping. So if you have this and this bothers you, it's not a big deal. You can add washi tape to here. Just, you know, just have a washi tape that will blend in, but you're never going to see it. So it's not that big a deal. 
but if you're somebody that and that would bother you then just put some washi tape so now we're going to do the exact same thing with this one only this is going to be to the right so we're going to cut this off just a little bit above so that we've got room for those flaps just like that then we're going to glue it turn that up we're going to glue this at the bottom got some fuzz then we want some glue on this side. We're going to glue at the bottom. And we want glue going up here. Just like that. There we go. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did. Pull this over and we're going to see where do we want this. How far over? Do we want it over an inch? Do we want it over half an inch? We are not quite an inch. But I don't need it to be an inch. I kind of like it to be a little off. So on this one, I am going coming over looks like three quarters of an inch so I'm going to take my pencil I don't need this so I am going to cut that off right here and angle it in just like that and sometimes you might have to tweak it and that's okay you can tweak it Pick your little tab, and then what you're going to do is put this in. See, see how that does? Put that in, and it comes like that. So once again, the back to the front, okay? And I mean the front being the part that is facing up. So the back... Because we are going to add one more, we don't want to close this off. The next one's our last one, so it doesn't matter if we close it off. So we want the glue on the top, not the back, so that we still have a place to put the next one. So see? See how we look? Isn't that just fantastic, guys? Just fun. Now, I wanted to use this paper. Mine is shorter because I made this the same. Um, maybe, just, maybe just like a quarter of an inch. I didn't have enough of this paper, so this is the way I really wanted it to be. So this is the one that I, I will be giving away. So this one should measure seven and a half by four. So let's see if that's what we've got. It's seven and a half by four. And we're going to score it the same way. We're going to score it at two and three eighths by five and three eighths. Or by five and five eighths. Two and three eighths by five and five eighths. So two and three eighths. By five and five eighths. And then this one also needs to have a tab at the bottom. So we're gonna score it a half an inch. That is it for the scoring because this is the last 
pocket. So we're going to kind of look at this and go, which way do we want to go? I for sure want to go this way. So I'm going to take my divot out. And then just come in and let's do a little bit of our distressing. I just am so in love with this idea. Then we're going to go and this is going to go right in the middle. So we just want to make sure we're going to start out first by coming above the score line and just coming in and then we will see if this will fit. If it doesn't, we will just adjust it. Not a problem. So let's go ahead, how did I want this? Yeah, like that. So we know we want glue on this side. And we need glue here. And we need glue here. And here. There's our pocket, okay, and here's our divot right here. So, or not our divot, but our tab. So this tab is going to go in here, so we're going to make sure it will fit, and it does. But you can see we're getting thick. It's okay. So that fits in there, so now we, we need to close this off. So how are we going to do that? We are going to put glue on this side. And this one will have glue on this side. So glue on both sides. And then we're just going to put this in there like that. Fold it up. And because we're getting thicker, you want to make sure you're in there. But you also want to make sure that this lays flat. And then you can see, see how we have this? So if this bothers you, you can come in here and you can burnish this ahead of time. You can add, I wouldn't add lace because that's going to bulk you up, but you can add washi tape here and then you can add some a piece of washi tape here. This doesn't bother me at all. So even flipping through it like that, that would never bother me. But if it bothers you, there's things that you can do to fix that. So now we have this, we need our tags. So I've got, we're going to need four index cards. And I did cut the index cards down. And I also um, I also, because it, this is going to go in the mail, I didn't decorate anything. You might want to put lace on your index cards, tabs on your index cards. You could put tabs on the sides of your um, your little pockets here if you wanted to. You could do, just do whatever you wanted, but this is going to have to go into a larger envelope. I didn't want the eyelets and all of that, so I didn't do any of that. This piece here should take the full index card, three by five, and it does. So we need our glue stick. So let's get that out. And we will glue this down. 
and I think I rounded the corners of all the tops of these tags. So, stitching would be so pretty. I mean, you could just do so much with this, and I really apologize that the video didn't work out, but we will do it again on Monday so you don't miss anything because this is, I think, one of the coolest ideas that I've ever come up with. I just really love it. So I'm going to chomp these two corners off. And I'm just really not going to worry about it all being perfect because this is long enough. Then this is going to go right in here like that. And then we have this pocket. And so... This index card is going to measure. I'm not worried about the width. The width stays the same. This will measure four inches. So I need to cut this down to four inches. Right here. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's going to be the same. That is uh, another one at four inches. Sorry about that, guys. Because those two are exactly the same. So four inches again. And we need... Let's see this paper, this side, and we need this paper. So, get that out of the way. Get our glue stick. Hopefully this is making sense. I hope you're as excited by this as I am. I just can't wait to use this in journals. Look at all this glue. Okay. And I think we need to go this way. Put this on there. Give this a second to dry while we do the other. Okay, that is this paper. out. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm sorry I didn't say anything about that. Thinking of everyone, I'm just so excited to share this idea with you that, and I, yeah, that's right. I'm just so excited because I just think this is one of the coolest things I have seen in a very long time. And um, 
I just think a long, narrow, oh, I just, I can't wait to create a few more. Okay, so chomp the tops off. I should say I'm rounding the corners. Then we are going to really quickly go around. Get this all on. I just love to distress, otherwise I just think it adds a richness. So this goes in here, this goes in here. And then this, we're doing a pink. And this measures, I think this is the smallest. And this is going to measure, this is just not three, but this is larger. So this would get lost in there. So let's see, we're going to have to measure this differently about right to here. So we're going to make this three and a half. I think three and a half will be perfect. Three and a half. Okay. Last one, guys. We are almost there. Put this one away. And we will get this done. And then I will show you once again Mondays. Okay. And I want this green leaf on there. Okay, put this away. Get rid of this. Okay. All right, let's cut this out. Chomp the corners. Okay, that's the top. just am sitting here looking at this just thinking of all the possibilities that you can do with this it's just incredible cool cool idea look at that look at that there you go stacking pockets all right my friends um i am wondering if i want to wait until monday to uh, draw, um, no, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do, it is this one, if you remember, and I, it had the little journal pages in it. I was going to do this again, show you another idea with the fold, but I got so excited by this that I just really, really wanted to do it, so. Let's go ahead and give that away. We're going to give these away as well. So, good luck, everybody. Put the cap on my glue. Let me put the pin in my glue bottle. And, okay, so for this here, we are, you know what, I'm going to wait and do this on Monday. I'm going to do the tags on Monday and the other one on Monday. Let's just stay with the, uh, well, 
Well, you jumped right out, so let's go with you. Gail Tuthill. All right, Gail. Um, last week's was Crafts by Diane, and I apologize. I have not had a chance to um, go and look for addresses. So if you're catching me, if you can ju just send me a message, it, it just helps. So then I don't, you don't have to get held up because I haven't done that. So yeah. So next week we are going to do these. And I might throw some other tags in here as well. Um, and then we are going to create one of these. And we are going to give this one away. So guys... I'm so sorry that there wasn't a video uh, Thursday, but I hope you like this idea. I am just really excited about where it can go, and I might come up with another idea for it to uh, share with you in Monday's video. So have a fantastic weekend, everyone, and um, thank you so, so much for uh, your comments and for viewing, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.